craziest couples ever. Yo, what's going on here? Bro, back up. Three years, huh? What? Three years and you That's win your review. What's going on, guys? Shaq reacts here once again, and the short shot some wall clips of the craziest couples I can find. And like was my favorite clip will be at the end, guys. So make sure to stay tuned all the way till then to find it. But in this first one, guys, it is definitely not good either. Basically, I guess we have this blind date going on. However, the girl actually has a boyfriend the entire time, and he was just in the back seat watching. This is a crazy setup. Let's go. And this next one, we have this girl over here. I guess she just exposes herself saying she didn't want her boyfriend checking her phone because she was cheating the entire time. For the millionth time, guys, keep checking your spouse's phones. Last time you guys said Shaq has no trust. That has nothing to do with it. People are getting played the entire time for years. And that could have just been fixed if you guys shared each other's phones. There is nothing wrong with it. If you do think there's something wrong with it, then I guess just get prepared to get played. It's one secret you never told your ex. I didn't want him to go on my phone because I was actually right. cheating. What did you say? You didn't want him to go on your phone because he was cheating. I wanted to go on my phone so then I started crying because because I didn't want him to go on my phone, but I was actually talking to oh, other guys on my She phone. gave him the whole waterworks. You're a good I actress. Fully, I fully went in the bathroom, locked the door, and was crying. Oh, so then God. I broke up with him, and then he became psycho. Now I have to have a restraining order. Shout out! Wow, man. Uh. And this next one, this girl is an absolute red flag. Basically, I guess her manager is being polite to the guy who gave him the food, and she made fun of him for it. Not only that, she ended up commanding him to get some sauce. It wasn't even a respectful win. You could definitely tell this girlfriend has no respect for her boyfriend at all. He needs to put his foot down and leave her, and I'm not even sure why she's recording him like this. Thank you, have a nice thing. What the fuck are you on? What the fuck was that? That was so fucking friendly. You're not getting pizza. You're not. Go give me the spicy thingies. Spicy peppers? Go get them? Thanks. I'll go flirt with her again. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. In this next one, this guy is definitely cheating on his girlfriend. Apparently, she found this in his closet. I'm not sure why she's laughing. This probably happened multiple times to her where she just doesn't care anymore. And well, this is what he had to say about it. I'm in Adriel's closet, right? And I find this workout tank top, like some girls exercise clothes type shit. Come here. No. Come show people what it is. Show. No, you. Give it to me. In this next one, I found this absolutely entertaining. Basically, I guess there is a single mixer thing going on and only women showed up. I'm assuming it's like a single event where a bunch of people can pull up and I guess they can meet each other and greet. You guys get the vibe. And only single women pulled up. Goes to show, guys, that men really just do not care about meeting these single women and it's only women that are really having this problem. What happened to being single independent and being your own woman? I guess that's out the window, right? Showed up. <laughs> going to a single mixer in downtown Phoenix. The ratio of men to women was way off. We left after maybe 40 minutes, but hey, we tried. Okay, I'm confused. They come online and they say they don't need a man. They don't want to be in a relationship. They don't want to settle. But then when you see a singles event, it's primarily all women. In this next, I'm not sure what happened prior to this conversation. This guy is bringing up a very valid point that completely went over this girl's head and she couldn't answer it. And I'm not sure who would ever let their girlfriends do this. Just gone and said on the internet, yes, on a podcast, that he does not believe in, he does not believe in monogamy. He believes in sleep with multiple people at one time. Yes, yes, he's gonna make this, no one, he's gonna make this, um, um, he's gonna make this announcement, right? So on that basis, I've simply said, well, if you believe in that, then you may want to test your kids because if you allow your wife to sleep with multiple people at one time, how do you know those kids are yours? What like I said. Um... <laughs> Gotcha. In this next one, I actually found this pretty pathetic. Basically, you have this guy over here. He ended up saying a big secret of his, and he's just laughing about it like it's no problem. In my opinion, he needs to go outside more. This is not a good thing. If you can't even touch a woman and this happens to you, you are completely like isolated from society, and you definitely need to start going outside more. But uh, uh, I met uh, I met a girl who's a streamer. I went up to her, I hugged her, and I came in my pants. Wow. Hug you. I think you need to get laid a little more often. Bro. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, I was just saying. I, 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 was she hot though? Was she like super duper duper hot? Yeah. Like I mean, this yeah, is forgivable if she was super duper duper hot. Yeah. 
yeah. <laughs> and this next one, I really just wanted to add it in. This was absolutely hilarious. And to be honest, I would probably just stay quiet. Yay. And this next one is very true. This is usually how girlfriends want their guys to react. Oh, sir, you dropped your phone. Sir, no. And this next one, this is absolutely super sad. Even though it was super funny when I heard it, deep down, we all know this guy is going through a lot. No, I'm definitely stronger than you are. No, we're not. Yeah, I am. Not than my dad. Probably not stronger than your dad, no. My dad. And this next one, I definitely agree with this guy is saying. Basically, he gets questioned, what is the biggest thing wrong with the U.S.? And he ends up saying relationships. And yes, I do agree with that. People want to leave relationships or end relationships the moment things get bad. Or they just have a change of heart, to be honest. And yeah, that's 100% the case. Look at women and the divorce rate nowadays. The moment a guy gets fired from a job, it's an instant divorce for him because, well, now he can't provide. Or the moment a girl finds somebody else, bam, she's out too because, well, she found someone else. And it's wrong for her not to change her love and her feelings, right? One thing about America that you just do not like compared to India. Cultures, things, yeah, like family, culture, the marriage, the relationship wise. India, we love somebody, we try to live and marry one person for a lifetime. But in US, they change women or men like a cloth. We want to sacrifice. Yeah. We need something, we need. We want to sacrifice. Yeah. But in this country, they don't sacrifice. And this is actually, I absolutely 100% agree with Sneeko over here. Basically, he's talking, I guess, about religion to this girl. She does OnlyFans. And he's trying to explain to her that life is more than just about OnlyFans and making money. I'm not trying to get religious on here. You guys can have your own opinions about that. You guys can be an atheist or whatever. But to be honest, having this kind of mindset that you are going to be accountable for your actions later on, and it's not all about money, is definitely a good mindset to have. And it will definitely keep more women in check. In my opinion, if they are religious but then again you guys can have your own opinion i think you should quit your uh your satanism forever and then come back to being a good girl be a good sister to me as, as your brother it's just making me upset that, that you're contributing negative negativity to the world and making these people upset okay well if you're trying to convert me why do you like you think that's the best thing for me really like to be to yeah, convert you should, you, you and stop quit. doing only you should, you should quit yeah See, when you ask me that question, that's my not a question. mind... I'm saying you should quit. Okay. When you say that to me, that makes my mind run on into why would he not want what's best for me? Because you know anybody who what's does OnlyFans... It's, it's saving your soul. It's going to get you into Jana. It's the best business option for any girl right, right now. Can you take that money with you when you die? No. No. So I, hopefully that's the best thing you can do is make it into heaven, make it into Jana. I want to go to heaven. I, I would don't like wanna, to see you there. I don't want to go to hell. I would like to see you there. But I... You, the quickest way to get there is is quitting. I know the truth hurts, but but like I just feel like I just feel like you don't understand like why I actually do this. Like I actually have. I know you want to make money. No, I have to support my parents. Like they they have bills to pay. Like they can't. My parents can't make enough money in order for to be, like I know. to live. Like, I know. I have to help support them. Sure. I have their I have their blessing. I get I ask for my parents. You don't have blessing. God's blessing. I think I do. I think I have a strong enough God is not blessing. God is not blessing OnlyFans. Why? He's not? Okay. I just... Why do you come at me so hard and call me demonic when you know I have... Like, it's, it's, I'm it's, genuinely it's, 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 not it's, it's, trying to do that. Be careful, though. The waiters are making a scene. Do you, do you want to go to the bathroom for a second? I have a couple things to talk about. You can come up. I don't want to make you upset right now. Okay, I'm going to go take a deep breath. Okay. You. Do your thing. And this next one, I really do feel bad for this guy. He's just trying to be a good support to these women. He's just trying to compliment them. Nothing weird or creepy going on. And these girls are just taking the joke way too far. Obviously, they do OnlyFans. And they're trying to, I guess, expose this guy online for being a creep. But in reality, they're the creep. What else you know? What do you mean? You don't give them free burgers or something? Free burgers? Free burgers? <laughs> How about it? You like it? Oh, you're beautiful. Oh, oh thank cute. you. Oh, you're not put that. You're gorgeous. Uh, Cupid dolls. <laughs> thank you. Uh, thank How about a burger? Yeah. Burger? Are you going to treat us? No, I was wanting you to treat oh. me. <laughs> Free burger? Got to charge. Oh, get a couple of free burgers. Look. Now, from the risk of list, guys, we have this man over here. He ends up seeing that his girlfriend is in another guy's lap, and a fight almost broke out. I actually had to take apart some of the clip because something did happen. And they start throwing hands, and I can't show that. Yo, what's going on here? Who's this? Yo, what's going on here? Bro, back up. It's been up. three years, huh? 
What? Two years and you win another dude. You win another dude. Back off. Back off. Back off. Yo, 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 yo. Back off, man. You don't know me, bro. Three years. Perfect. Well, that does it for you guys. Much watch, guys. The next one. Take care. Peace.